Hey everybody, welcome back to the workbench where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take another look at the smart valve, but we're going to take a look at a couple of ways to test it without damaging any of the pins or plugs or things of that nature. So just a quick review of what the smart valve is. Uh, don't try this at home, you'll damage and break the valve. The smart valve is a gas valve. Pilot valve coil, main valve coil. We've got two plugs here on the top. This one connects to the IFC. This rectangular one goes to the igniter. We're very tempted when we're testing and trying to diagnose to jam our meter leads into these things and we may damage the pins or even into the harness to test for voltage coming to or from the board and we can damage these things. This harness that connects the IFC to the board is not really replaceable so if you damage it, you're in a bit of a pickle. All right. The first harness I'm going to show you here has four wires and it goes in series with the board and the, the valve. There's four wires and they're clearly labeled. This is for the orange wire, the EFT output. This is for the blue wire coming from the pressure switch. There's one for the 24 volt hot and one for the 24 volt common. And if we look closely, each one of these wires has a portion of it that's been peeled away, stripped away, so that we can do voltage testing. All right, let's take a look. We plug it in here and the mating harness from the board would plug into here. And these areas are in different parts of the wire so they won't touch each other and short each other out. Take the meter leads and we can test by placing the meter leads on the strip portions there and test for voltage without having to stick it into the pins or harnesses and damage anything. So we're testing power going to and from the board and the valve to try and diagnose an issue. So this is one harness and that's the model number for it right there. The next harness I want to show you is for the igniter flame sensor. This is all one piece, all one assembly. And if we want to test flame current, we're going to have to clip the wire. And it may damage the wire when we try and wire nut it back together. Uh, we may weaken the flame current signal. So we have this particular harness here. And that's the model number for it. And it goes in series with the valve. So we plug this end of the harness into the gas valve and it's in series with the igniter. And then it has these two clips right here that will plug into almost any voltmeter. And we set the meter to microamps. And upon ignition, when we get a pilot flame here, we'll register the microamps. So these are two different harnesses that we can use for <clears throat> testing the smart valve without having to jam our meter leads into any of these pins or any of the harnesses and damage anything. Just making you aware of what's out there to help make your job a little bit easier. This has been the Workbench Series and I thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one.